disturbing footage surfaced of a drag queen performing in front of infants. Yes, infants. The vision is so shocking that we have to heavily blur it. But these are grown adults in bondage gear or in G-strings strutting around in front of tiny kids, infants, toddlers. The heavily sexualized drag shows is just uh, the latest in a growing list of drag events being targeted towards children. Joining me now is Sky News contributor Dominique Samuels. Dominique, you were the first to expose this footage on Twitter. It was your tweet that went viral. Tell me about these performances for toddlers and babies. Uh, why? Right, well, it is quite the saga because when I came across these screen recordings and um, screenshots I was sent by my followers, I was absolutely horrified. Did a bit of digging, bit of investigation, and it emerged that this company is a baby cabaret company. It's called Cabba Baba Ray. Oh. So this is sort sexualized heavily sexualized events involving drag queens and people wearing barely any clothing dancing suggestively but it's targeted at young children um and people have said well they don't know what's going on the babies don't know what's going on it's for the parents the easy answer to that is then why not leave your babies at home and enjoy that sort of behavior that would be best placed in a strip club and there are real concerns here in terms of child safeguarding i've spoken to numerous experts that do believe that there are serious issues here and many people including myself have the personal belief that these sorts of um, acts and behaviors are really akin to grooming actually well absolutely and we don't allow you know dads to take the babies along to i don't know the local strip club because oh well you know uh, I'm, I'm sick of the other baby activities so the baby can come along and see what i want to see because we recognise there are things that are suitable perhaps for adults if they choose to partake in them, yeah. but uh, children should be protected from it. Now, again, like you wouldn't take a child to a strip club. Why would you have a man dressed as a woman in a G-string dancing for them? It just seems just perverse. It really does. It, it is, seems like we're it is. Uh, in a bit of a civilizational decline right now with this degeneracy and I'm fairly relaxed about most things but this is something that if you're relaxed about then I think you're on a different planet Exactly. And this is the issue. There are so many people that have come out and defended this, even peddling conspiracy theories that I have somehow doctored and faked these videos, which is absolute nonsense. These are directly from the Instagram. They were paraded all over this Instagram page. They were proud of what they were doing. Yeah, they're once promoting they got it. Backlash, they're promoting it. Exactly. They're promoting it. Once they got backlash, it was a different story. And look, this isn't just about Kaba Baba Rave. This is about a wave of events targeting children. Initially, I was investigating um, a drag event at the Honor Oak Pub in Lewisham, which is in London, where there is a drag queen in a mini skirt and PVC boots, stripper heels, you know, that belong in a strip club, gyrating and doing the splits on the floor whilst a confused young girl watched on. And in the caption of the video that this drag queen posted, they said, it'll be sexy, they said. Wear a miniskirt, they said. And the question is, why would you need to look sexy at an event targeting children? That's a real serious question that I think needs answering by a lot of the people hosting these inappropriate events. Absolutely, and I'm glad you're doing some work there, but it's coming with a cost. I know you're receiving all sorts of vicious hate, uh, people telling you to kill yourself uh, because you posted that video and exposed what was happening. Yeah. Um, just quickly, tell me about some of that hate you've copped because I know personally I've copped it as well. These activists can be particularly vile and misogynistic. Yeah, I mean, I've been called a turf, told to kill myself, trash, um, saying that they can't believe two people met, fell in love and made me, um, which is really quite nasty, actually. But these people are deranged, and they're deranged by an ideology that is being pushed onto our children every single day. Currently, there is controversy in the UK over our sex education guidelines that are teaching kids about this warped gender ideology of 
of cisgender and non-binary as fact. Even some teachers saying well, what happens in this room stays in this room with regards to sex education. Mm. That's something that a sexual predator would say. And this is being normalized. And I will shout from the rooftops about the sexualization of children until something is done and until this government, in my country at least, acts. Absolutely. And uh, there, there was a disturbing report from The Telegraph on what you just talked about, the sort of lessons children are getting about 100 genders and gender being fluid and even some primary school kids that young being told all about masturbation and taught about masturbation, which is, uh, again, why. Um, but you've got a Tory government there. Why is this happening when you elected supposedly a conservative government in a landslide. They have just completely lost control. There is no conserv conservative ideology in the UK. It's being controlled by these pressure groups and these lobbyists that are really abusing our public services and the public purse, hosting drag queen story hours at councils, funding activist trans lobby groups that are actually pushing this sort of heavily sexualized and quite frankly, scientifically inaccurate Got these guidelines onto schools and the government just don't know it, anything about it. Thankfully, um, a Conservative MP called Miriam Cates, she is actually pushing this issue, which I'm very, very grateful for. But in many people's eyes, this is too little too late because our kids are being actively groomed by these activists and these lobbyists that, quite frankly, are out of touch with reality.